say goodbye to your MSBI and Rune crossbow for with the release of Volomor there's a new sheriff in town, the Hunter Sunlight Crossbow. This is the new best in slot range weapon for mid game players, slotting nicely in between the MSBI and the Bofa. It requires 66 range and 50 hunter to use and 74 fletching and 72 hunter if you are an iron man. There are two options for ammunition, the Sunlight and Moonlight Antler Bolts, made with 62 and 74 fletching respectively. The Sunlight Bolts are equivalent to Amethyst Arrows and the Moonlight Bolts are actually equivalent to Dragon Arrows, so these Antler Bolts are definitely not playing around. The crossbow itself has plus 4 range accuracy over the MSBI while being the same speed and it is one-handed, so it's basically like equipping an MSBI on steroids with Dragon Arrows and a shield of your choice. Sounds pretty awesome, right? The only drawback is the difficulty of getting the ammunition. You get 12 bolts per antelope, and hunting sunlight antelopes requires 72 hunter while the moonlight antelopes require 91 hunter. However, with the new rumor system, hunter training has never been as engaging as it is now, so this is the perfect time to get that hunter level up and enjoy your new weapon upgrade. Now let's take a quick look at some DPS calculations for the Hunter's Crossbow and some other mid-game Ironman options. You have the normal MSBI, the Rune Crossbow with Diamond Bolts, the Crystal Bow and Carol's Crossbow. You can see all of the sets right here. So first we have the Hunter's Crossbow. Uh, basically in all of these we have just uh, God Dehyde, an Amulet of Fury, an Avis Assembler, Barrow's Gloves and Archer's Ring. We have the Eagle Eye Prayer on. Uh, all of these options are turned on and everything is on rapid as you can see and everything has the Eagle Eye as well. And here as for equipments for the Hunter's Crossbow we have the Hunter's Sunlight Crossbow with Sunlight and bolts. We can actually change that for Moonlight and bolts really quickly like that. For the MSBI we have the Magic Shot Bow and Rune Arrows. For the RCB we have Rune Crossbow, Diamond Bolts E and an Ancient D Height Shield. For the Crystal Bow well just the Crystal Bow. And for the Carol's Crossbow we have Carol's Crossbow and Bolt Racks. So a very similar setup for all of these, just uh, different kind of weapons in here. So we can see, for example, for the average time to kill a Warcap with all of these weapons. For the Hunter's Crossbow, we have 170 seconds. The next one would be the Carol's Crossbow at 178 seconds. So it's 8 seconds faster than the Carol's Crossbow. And obviously a lot, lot faster than the MSBI or the RCB or the Crystal Bow. Then we can take a look at, for example, Zura. Tanzanite form, you can see it's always the best option available out of these. We can even take a look at some higher defense monsters like General Grador. Uh, there we go. 104 seconds, 109 seconds, and uh, well, actually, here that uh, RCB with the diamond bolts is very much on par. That's probably because of the diamond bolt effect, so you can always see them coming close. With some high-end defense monsters, if we go for Ziliana, for example, I think the RCB might win here. Yep, the RCB is better by uh, 6 seconds or something. So for enemies with very high defense rolls, then uh, the RCB with the Diamond Bolts is still the king. But in other regards, if we look at something with very low defense, for example, a Lizardman Shaman, you can see the DPS is 5.6 with the Hunter's Crossbow and 5, less than 5 with the RCB, less than 5 with Crystal Bow and 5.4 almost with the Carol's Crossbow. So the Hunter's Crossbow is definitely a big upgrade over all of the other weapons. And you know, for General Slayer, if we look at, for example, Labyrinth Spectres or something, it always wins out. We can look at uh, Abyssal Demons, I guess. I don't know why anybody would be killing them with... Uh, ranged but whatever and obviously one of the biggest uh, things for iron man in the mid game is jad and the fight caves so we can look at jad 80 seconds for the hunter's crossbow 80 to 90 seconds for all the other options and if we can look at the is it Ketzek, i think is the majors yep yep the hunter's crossbow is still winning so if you want an upgrade for your fight caves for your mid game iron man definitely go with the hunter's crossbow we can even change out the moonlight antler bolts to say sunlight antler bolts like so that are much much easier to get and have a lot lower requirements and you can still see the get sex are getting destroyed by the hunter's crossbow uh the carlos crossbow is basically on par right here just a little bit of difference for the hunter's crossbow and we can look at jet again still the hunter's crossbow is coming out on top and if we look at for example the shamans we see there's a very slight difference between the hunter's crossbow and the carol's crossbow but if you have been using msbi or rcbs which is the probably the two most used ones you will definitely notice an improvement here so yeah all in all it definitely is a big improvement for mid-game ironman 
Now let's go ahead and test this out in a couple of different places. This is my first time actually using the Hunter's Crossbow, so I haven't done any content with it yet, just the DPS calculations. And this is my main Iron Man. It is not maxed, it's 94 range, so I'm not gonna get any of the uh, big hits that you saw in the DPS calculator, and I also don't have rigor or anything like that. But let's go ahead and take out a normal kind of ranged equipment here. Okay, here we are. I think I'm gonna go and give Warketh a try. I haven't killed Warketh in maybe like one and a half years or something, so it might be a bit sketchy, but this is the setup that I'm going with. Uh, the basic Iron Man mix and match uh, guard dehyde. We have a crystal helm, a salve amulet AI, and then Evis Assembler, the Moonlight Antler Bolts, and the Hunter Sunlight Crossbow, Barrow's Gloves, and Ring of Suffering. Uh, then some potions and everything in the inventory, so let's go ahead and see how it goes. And he is not located in the Hunter's Guild. I mean the Farming Guild. Kind of feels weird being in Relica and not doing anything in here, just leaving. That's not normal for me. Okay, let's see how it plays out. I really haven't done Orketh in a very, very long while, so let's go ahead and drink all of the potions. And we'll just see how it fares. Uh, the crossbow should be pretty damn nice against Warcat, so maybe we will persevere. Yeah, so the walking is a little bit awkward when it's a uh, three tick weapon, so you have to be kind of constantly clicking at Warcat to get it done. But it's not too bad at the moment. I think it's going pretty fine at the moment. And I still have the muscle memory to do Warcat. No problem at all. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. So you can see it is kind of slapping. 21, 28. It's hitting big, big numbers on Warcath and uh, not too bad to use. Uh, feels pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice weapon, I think. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I might have fucked this up. Whoop. Yep. Okay, crossbows, lap him up. 21. 20. This is nice. 21. Big hits. There's another big hit. 25. Holy shit, this thing is really slapping him. 21 again. Come on, one more. There we go. And Warcup is down. Definitely not the cleanest kill by any margin. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, not the cleanest kill by any margin. It has been like a couple of years before I uh, killed Warcup the last time, but uh, not too bad, I think. Uh, for a hunter crossbow, <laughs> that is pretty damn sick, I gotta say. Let's go ahead and try some other bosses out as well. So this is not a boss per se, but this is probably one of the most ranged places in Iron Man history. So we are trying out the Hunter's Sunlight Crossbow at uh, Lizardman Shamans in the Mulch Temple right here. And uh, it does seem to be working pretty damn nicely. So yeah, let's see some big hits right here. 20s, and I don't have a range import with me. What am I, an amateur? Seems like. So obviously this is not as good as something like a blowpipe with amethyst darts or something like that. But if you don't have access to that kind of stuff and you're doing these with an MSBI or something like that, then of course this is going to be a very good upgrade for you. So according to the DPS calc, it should shave off uh, 1.5 seconds uh, compared to an MSBI if you're using that. So it definitely is a little bit faster killing these guys with the uh, Hunter Sunlight Crossbow. And yeah, if you are going very dry on the Dragon Warhammer, let's say like uh, 10,000 kills or something like that, then uh, 1.5 seconds each kill, that adds up to 15,000 seconds, if I can do my math. And that would be, I don't know how many minutes and hours, I'll put it on the screen. But definitely, yeah, it's not a bad upgrade at all. And it does look pretty damn sick, doesn't it? Those little antlers on the top, like right there. That is pretty good looking, in my opinion. One of the biggest hurdles for Iron Man is obviously Zulra, so we are going to try out a big juicy snake BGS right there. And uh, yeah, we're going to try out Zulra with the Hunter Crossbow and a kind of a basic setup with the Trident of Seas, a Imboot Guard Cape and Arims. And I'm using Carols and some Mage Gear and yeah, just a normal looking Iron Man gear in the mid game. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try Zulra with this gear. Again, as with the Warcraft, I haven't killed Zora in probably two years, so 
we'll just see how it goes. Um, I don't remember any of the uh, rotations or anything, but I do have the helpers somewhere around here. There we go. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we get to try out the crossbow right away, and we should not be moving at the moment. I think we should be just right around here. Okay, let's see this in action in the blue phase, just as he comes up. There we go, switch here, and now let's see the DPS if we are getting any good hits with it. Yeah, it's doing something. Okay, not too bad, I think, not too bad. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we can do Zora with the Hunter's Crossbow and we get Mahogany Logs, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, my Zora kill count is 70, so that is all the Zora experience that I have, so I definitely am not a pro at all. 157 is my personal best, so uh, <laughs> kind of lacking with that. But I think I have previously done it with just an MSBI, if I remember correctly. Uh, so there should be an upgrade at Zora as well. Uh, let's go ahead and try another kill, maybe. Oh my god, I suck at this game. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, and my baby is awake. Oh no. Okay, we are ditching. We are ditching this attempt. Okay, try number three. Let's go. So it is quite an inaccurate bow at Zora, it seems like. Well, now it's slapping like a son of a gun as I said that. I mean, it is better than the MSBI for sure. So uh, definitely there's some improvement. Did I just... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, uh, it definitely is better than the MSBI. So there is some improvement right there, but uh, not too, too good. So you maybe want a blowpipe or something before you really grind out Zora. Uh, but anyways, it's not a bad weapon at all. Uh, definitely doable at Zora. Not, not too bad. That is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more of my content, I'm doing an extreme one chunk account from Relica. So go check that out. And do not forget to like and subscribe before you head out. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in Relica.